hello there happy new year to you much love welcome into this channel this is sage sage sunset healing tarot thank you for being here and i do hope you're doing well in this time thank you so much for liking the video for sharing it with those you love and for subscribing to the channel your support is abundantly appreciated now we're going to get into some messages for you these will be general messages so they may not all apply to all of you so take the ones that do apply and the rest let them fly so welcome in breathe with me here i have something for you if you have trust issues i feel like you do have trust issues surrounding family friends your mother I feel like you were never told the truth or you felt like you weren't told the truth something was a lie something was severe you know something was a disconnect you couldn't put the pieces together or you still can't so it makes you suspicious it could be more than that it could be way 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 more than that to each his own it has something to do with something maybe a sister that you lost someone that left Okay. Also, maybe it has something to do with a third party energy. And maybe someone left. Despite all of that, I want you to know something. What you really truly want is for your home, for your life, and your family to be happy. That is your heart. You would have meant to see everyone around you just laughing, smiling, happy. And that is what you can do for you, including your, the people that you don't trust, including your mother. Even, when, even if you feel like there's, there are things that they didn't tell you or there are lies or whatever. The Ace of Swords is here, which I feel like you hold. The Ace of Swords is a powerful force of love and it's a truth. A powerful force. The Ace of Swords here represents two things, or more than two. The divide or the disconnection, the lie, the, the untruth, or the truth which was hidden. And also the power of word and love and will. And the presence of the Almighty. In the tongue the will there is you feel like you're not going anywhere sometimes like it's the it's a <coughs> you're not moving forward especially when it has to do with these emotions of your past these suspicions and doubts and feeling like you have to defend yourself like hey who's that who's that who is going to challenge me next? You know, shields and barriers built around you for protection. Always trying to be safe. So you feel like you're not moving on because you're still not getting the answers. This having to do with mother, father, sibling or siblings. Your father did block you, deny you. He may be self-reflecting at this point. It is not your fault. Your mother may be denying how she truly feels. She cannot speak to you, she tells herself. Is there's, no, there's no way. It is out of the question, or is it that she could let her walls down? And you, you're in the same energy because this lineup is powerful. Mother, father, sibling or child, this is how they came out. This is designed. And then we have the two of swords here. We have the ace of swords. 
The sorcerer, the king, the queen, and the jack. All of you are blocking. None of you are communicating. So you may not be communicating effectively with your mother, your father, your siblings, or even with yourself. And it's not going anywhere. What do you want? That is the question. Because you have the power. That force. <sighs> For many years you've been telling yourself that you want answers. But I have to break it to you, child. There are none. <clears throat> there are no answers. There are no answers. You want answers from your father, answers from your mother. There are no answers. No one has the answers. That's why you're not moving forward because there are no answers and you keep wanting answers where there is literally no, this is all that it is. People are who they are. Things happen just cause things happen. Of course, people can't explain something, make it easier for you to understand. But what I found in this message after wanting the answers, maybe wanting that release, but the two of swords, it felt like I can't go back. It felt like this big old iron steel gate. I couldn't move through it. I couldn't find any answers, but then I couldn't move forward either because I was depending upon the answers to move me forward. I was moving forward with the definition of that I had of myself. I moved forward as the jack of sword. I had blocks emotionally because I identified with this experience. I moved forward as the child that has no connection with parents. You know what I mean? In that identity. So it kept me from moving forward, me. Oh, Jesus Lord. But when I found out that there is no answers, the answers I wanted, there's none. I found this out last night. You know what I mean? There are no answers. It's like a waste of time, like being stuck, not even in reverse, but just glitch. Energy glitching. I feel like there's a point where you can stand and look at yourself in the mirror. It has something to do with your identity that you need to de-shell. Because you realize you've been searching for an answer and it's made up your mission, but it isn't really true to you. I feel like wholly you can become so self-aware as even when looking through the mirror at your own reflection to know who you are and why you came here in this space why did these things happen to you instead of being a victim become more empowered to ask questions listen all over this reading you have the sword the knowledge the information you see, we have all swords here, but for me, swords energy feels like the opposite of hearts. Okay? So maybe even your love energy is affected by your parents. Maybe they didn't show up for you. As I'm telling you, it's swords energy. And you adopted that. But imagine if all these swords were hearts on the table, how beautiful it would all be. King of hearts, king of swords, jack of hearts, two of hearts, ace of hearts. You know what I mean? I feel like it can happen. It can be transformed with the knowing that there are no answers. Hurt people hurt people. Maybe that is the only answer. And for you to know who you are and to become in this time
Okay. You were remaining stuck in the past. Yeah, that's why you weren't moving forward. Because we have the five of hearts as your outcome. But what do you want? You know, what will you choose to do? The two of hearts for me is the energy. Because with the five of hearts energy in tarot, there are two cups behind you that you can take up and follow. That's the two of hearts. But this is the two of swords. But because you are still focused on what you lost, the three of hearts. In this three of hearts, it feels like what causes the feeling of separation, what was lost, blood line, maybe someone a blood a sister. that if you keep waiting for an answer I know that you realize that there are no answers really and the more you keep holding on for someone to explain something to you or for you to get validation whatever the answer feels like you've always wanted and maybe someone didn't tell you if you keep holding into that energy you're still going you're going to have this gate especially when it comes to love But the Two of Swords, beautifully, is also my ninja energy, you know, right? Ninja vibration. You can move in the dark, flexibility. And it was so beautiful to feel how you slid through this gate where I felt I could never get through this gate. It was like so powerful. This gate was just, it was doing its job. It had no emotional attachment to me. It, it just meant, listen, listen, ma'am, you're not getting through this gate. And that's, that's it. The gate wasn't even having a conversation with me. You know what I mean? There, there was no way to get through that gate. <laughs> and no, I got I, the energy of release, feel, feeling like I got through the gate, even without the awareness of the gate itself. That's the ninja vibration. That is the energy of choosing to move forward with the, the, the remaining two cups. What you have left, what you've learned, what you've become aware of through the situation. Oh, Jesus. And in walking around with this powerful force of love that's going to mend your love. Whether this is bringing your entire family together like you want it. And I feel like that's what you want. Black or white, step or no, sibling, aunt, nephew, whatever. You just want to see everyone together happy, smiling. I feel like it is a vision which you've held many times. And on the bottom of this deck, we have the King of Cups. Oops, he fell. Why? Why did he fall? Almost like he wanted to show me this. Hmm. I haven't felt that feeling in a long time, maybe in a dream. I, I probably was somewhere else doing something else, like selling newspaper or something. And then this person passed by and he made my day. I made his day too. You know, I don't know what that was. But I feel like you're looking at something new, you're creating a new vision. So even as the Queen of Swords energy, something about your vision, mindset. You're cooling down, I don't know what that means. Your walls, maybe your walls, maybe because you ninja your way through the wall, the obstacle. You know, the wall felt like you just didn't know how to let go off of certain things. And to become a ninja, it felt like at night time I transformed. So in the daytime I could be heavy, but the only way I can become light 
to release my burdens secretly is through transforming into ninja shape. You know that story of the cat woman that she's a woman at the in the daytime at night she crawls out of her skin and she becomes a cat. Like at night time you are transformed. Something about this two of swords, like ninja energy, like that cat vibration. Something about your spirit. What is that? I feel like if you just stay in your understanding and knowing and knowing what is true, like you did not deserve any of it and none of it was your fault and it was no one's fault that is so powerful i feel like you have the power to love and to connect with everyone despite anything even if your father left you you can still connect with him because he is not your main source of love you know what i mean it's big but the message in this reading for you is whatever you're holding on to waiting until you get the answer or the validation before you let go to move forward there are no answers and maybe, in truth, you will only realize something when you make a powerful move to, to say to yourself, there are no answers and I accept that. How do I move? How do I want to move forward? And you move forward with the truth, with the love, with a vision for you and for happiness for your entire family that you have the power to bring together. Much love to you. Thank you so much for coming through. And I do hope you found messages that resonates with you and is able to help you on your journey. If you did, hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe. I love having you here with me on this journey. I will see you in the next video. Remember that you're all and all is within you. Much love. Take care.